Hi, I'm Pagata12 and today we play with uh, texture instancing and uh, we'll do this in a very fast manner uh, without actually render any texture and uh, we can uh, play with uh, with this um, and uh, yeah we get some uh, noisy uh, bubbles and uh, also the, the the scales and we can go very uh, big with the the, the grid and uh, uh, yeah we, we can get some some uh, interesting uh, results and everything goes super smooth and uh, yeah let's uh, let's build this so let's put this aside and uh, let's see what what we need okay so for the we we start with the constant chop okay and uh, yeah let's go uh, with the resolution and the grid okay and uh, 1280 for the resolution and grid let's go with uh, uh, 16 for now okay and uh, so what we actually want to achieve here is uh, have a, a bunch of, of uh, shapes not necessary circles or uh, rectangles that can be any shapes and um, put a, a texture on on those shapes uh, coming from a, an input texture okay now those shapes can have a, a unique area okay or can can uh, uh, look a little bit the same or take as much as uh, we want from the the input uh, uh, form okay so let's have a bunch of uh, of points okay so we go with the uh, noise and uh, let's use this grid okay and this is uh, 32 rg nearest pixels and also not monochrome okay now let's have a, a null here okay and uh, yeah let's let's uh, instance uh, um, a rectangle let's try this so okay now we use uh, uh, transform right here and uh, go with one divided by the grid okay and uh, yeah let's go into um, geometry we turn instancing on and uh, let's use this uh, pink texture okay to have some uh, rectangles okay now let me split the screen okay we good now we can we can have those uh, moving we go here in the noise and uh, yeah let's have uh, abs time dot seconds divided by 32 and uh, yeah how can we uh, put on each of them a separate region from a, an input uh, photo okay now yeah we can we can have a, a movie file in here and let's go with uh, maybe trillium okay and we use a, a fit and go with the resolution Okay, and let's go here with um, 32 RGBA and uh, feed outside. Okay, so we have this uh, uh, photo. Okay, now let's have this. Let's put this aside as uh, we need to to build uh, something else uh, here. Okay. Now um, 
I would like to have a render here. Okay, also a camera. And for the camera, we go with uh, uh, orthographic. Here we go bottom left and uh, one. And let's have uh, this resolution. Not on the camera, instead in render top. Like this. And uh, this is uh, OK. Now, we we want to have here the, the colors from where they are in space in that moment. So we grab this null also for the colors. So R, G and B. OK. Now we need a, a, either a light or we go with a constant material. And we have uh, something like like this. OK, now let's have a null here. And right now, if we try to remap those two, so I remap this uh, flower with this uh, texture. And let's have uh, the top here you see I have a uh, one single color in each uh, square okay and uh, yeah don't, don't mind yet the the dirty uh, transparency okay now one of the things that uh, might help it's uh, anti aliased uh, here off okay now we good but uh, we are not there yet so this texture we, we have here is not uh, ready yet and uh, what do we need let's move this aside a little bit let's have a, an UV so uh, uh, yeah let me open this and uh, make a base right here so we call it UV and inside again we need a, a ramp a reorder and um, a flip okay so we have those three let's put them in order so like this all of them uh, nearest pixels oh but actually here doesn't matter here because uh, here we go with the, the uh, big resolution okay for for this one so bottom left and here input two and this is uh, rg great okay now yeah let me put an out here And I want to uh, subtract those two. Okay, and I have some some dirty uh, uh, texture. And uh, uh, what I need here is not not the the, the smaller values. Okay, now everything else like uh, the values from the uh, uh, original UV, let's say, where I have uh, this UV minus zero from here. Uh, we don't need them actually so uh, let's have a, a reorder here and go with um, alpha and this has to be uh, 32 mono okay now we can uh, multiply those two like this okay and uh, we need something else and that would be uh, another uh, geo, okay. Taking the the same uh, rectangle or the shape, but instead for for uh, instead using these colors as where they 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 are in space in that moment of of motion, we uh, take 
the the grid UV okay so uh, let's use another one here okay but uh, go inside and instead of uh, uh, resolution let's let's have the the grid and yeah we can make this uh, nearest pixels now to to see them better okay and okay now in this second geometry we take as a color this uh, uh, grid instead this uv okay and uh, um, this render only render geometry one and we use a render pass okay for our render and this one takes only geometry two okay now we add those two together okay now let's use the remap now okay and uh, yeah we we are good so this um, transparency let's say we can solve with the multiply like this and uh, yeah so in the end we can uh, we can set here uh, whatever uh, background we want with the transform and uh, let's go with black zero okay now as i said uh, this goes with uh, any uh, shape so we can have a, a circle here okay let's make the radius 0 5 and uh, yeah connect this okay now maybe it's difficult to to see uh, each uh, piece from where it took the the texture okay so maybe maybe if we noise like this let's go with uh, offset to zero okay and now if we play with amplitude you see we can recreate the the original uh, texture and now now we know it's now each uh, piece uh, it's uh, it's carrying the 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 texture now some of them uh, no, not in this case all, all of them have the same size but i would like to give them different sizes so uh, what if we use a uh, noise for this let's go with uh, grid okay and let's have a null here okay let's make those two also pink and uh, in both of the geometries we use this as a uh, scale like like this now here the noise goes uh, from zero to one and uh, above and under a little bit but uh, we go with offset to one so while the amplitude is zero now nothing changed here we have one so the the size for each of the um, instances is uh, one divided by the grid but uh, if we play with the amplitude we can create some some variation okay so uh, then you see if we go offset one amplitude two that means the values are in between minus one and three and so everything with the minus it's uh, getting upside down uh, and uh, also uh, according with uh, uh, what we have here maybe but it doesn't really matter what what we have here but uh, in case we want to uh, exclude the minus uh, sizes okay we can use um, a mod here And 
we can rearrange uh, minus 1 to uh, 3 to 0 0.0625 to 3 or, or 1 to 5 or depends how, how you want okay okay so yeah let's see if we go uh, with uh, a very dense uh, grid okay like like this you know what I, I don't really like this this mod so yeah I do prefer uh, something like this or um, you can use a mod just for for turn everything positive okay so uh, yeah okay now Oh, obviously we go out of the range minus one three uh, if we play uh, with uh, uh, harmonic gain for example we, we go uh, above one so uh, yeah it uh, it really uh, depends on uh, what else I would like to to have here maybe the distribution of the the radiuses the, the scales uh, being according with the input image and so for this we uh, use a, a select we take the this fit where we have the input uh, image and uh, yeah first we use a fit as this uh, texture is way too big right so we use the grid and uh, and right now, if we uh, take the amplitude from the noise uh, for the position, yeah, we have uh, scales according with, with uh, uh, this input, okay? And uh, yeah, this was my tutorial. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with, uh, with uh, this technique i really hope you like this hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already or you can support me on patreon you will get access to a bunch of other tutorials and you will help me going further with this uh, research thank you so much and a uh, huge thanks to all my patrons see you in the next one